This video shows features in Trimble Business Center version 2.8 for the new Trimble R10 receiver. We'll cover RTK, device orientation, XFIL, importing raw data, and post-processing. To get started, I'm connected to a Trimble TSC3 collector. I'm going to import a job containing data collected with the Trimble R10. This is a simple job just containing three points. Let's look at the properties of the first RTK vector. We'll verify that this was collected with the Trimble R10 and then look at some of the differences in the properties. The first difference between the Trimble R10 and legacy receivers is the solution type. Here it's simply reported as RTK, opposed to fixed or float for a legacy receiver. This is because the Trimble R10 uses Trimble's HD GNSS processing engine, which no longer fixes and floats am integer ambiguities. Below observed data, you'll see a new section called device orientation. This includes the field tilt distance, which uses the tilt sensors in the R10 to report how far the instrument was from plumb when the point was measured. If we look at the second vector, and we go down to device orientation, you'll see that this point was not well measured. In fact, the instrument was more than three decimeters from plumb when the point was measured. That's what's causing this red error flag to appear. To adjust the tolerance for tilt distance, go to Project Settings, Computations, Device Orientation. By default, the tolerance for tilt distance is set to two centimeters. Now let's take a look at the third vector. For the third vector, the solution type is not RTK, it's XFIL. That's because when we measured the third point, the rover had lost connection with the RTK base, but it was still able to measure a point because it was receiving corrections from Trimble's XFIL satellite. Looking at the RTCMH property tells us how long it was after the receiver lost connection with the RTK base before it measured the point using XFIL. Now let's look at some post-processing. I'll disconnect the TSC3 and connect the Trimble R10. That will pop up the device pane and allow me to drag and drop the raw T02 file into my TBC project. To download the corresponding data from the base, I'll go to Internet Download and automatically download the corresponding data from my Trimble network receiver. With raw data imported from the rover and from the base, baselines will now appear. I'll process those baselines, and now I have precise positions for my RTK, XFIL, and post-process points. At this point, if necessary, I could update the coordinate for the base station, and all of my rover points would be updated accordingly. That concludes this video on features in Trimble Business Center version 2.8 for the new Trimble R10 receiver, including RTK, device orientation, XFIL, importing raw data, and post-processing.